Today we're going to be doing some Instacart at Costco and we're going to be talking about why Instacart is the best gig app that you guys could use right now. This is fully my opinion so if you guys have a different opinion for your market then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways we just swiped a $118 order. It was like 30 miles and I think it's probably like 40 to 50 items but for $120 we're gonna do that. We're gonna see if there's any heavy stuff on here. So far, it just looks kind of like a normal order. Yeah, nothing crazy. I do have to get some big like tote boxes or whatever you wanna call them, the storage crates. But other than that, there's not 10 waters, but it's paying 120 bucks. Holy cow, like I'm, I'm pumped. So I'm gonna go do these orders. I'm gonna show you what the order looks like. I'm gonna throw it in my car, and then we're gonna go drive 30 miles somewhere else for 120 bucks, and then probably come back here. Wow, it's a Wednesday too, guys. Like. It's not even a good day. Wednesday. Jeez. 120. My car is very full. This intersection's awful because everyone's going so fast and then I'm here with like a full car. Uh, whee! So the order is huge as you guys saw and we are, we're maxed out in this car. I still have a passenger seat. Technically I could have put more stuff on, but the back row and the trunk are completely full. But for $120, we're gonna do this in under two hours most likely and probably get paid around $60 an hour, which I would say is pretty freaking great for a, a job that requires no degree. All you guys need is a car and working legs. That's all you guys need. And a back that's not thrown out already. But yeah, I got a 20 minute drive to my first drop off and I'll see you guys at the second one. All right, so I kind of forgot to record like me dropping off or at least like halfway through. So I tried to like put the camera up in a place that wasn't like super obvious, but um, yeah, I don't think that turned out so nice. Yeah, our next drop off is only 20 minutes away. So we're probably gonna get back to Costco at around 1230 would be my guess. So just a little over two hours, which is we're doing great on time actually for what it is. This is why I love Instacart. Like you could get these big, huge orders that just make your day but there's also the downside of sometimes you're gonna be sitting for a while. But if you guys have a Costco nearby or a Sam's Club, the chances of you seeing those big orders that could change your day around are pretty high. With this job, I probably sit around for an hour to two hours every day, and I usually still make really good money. Even if you include those hours in my hourly rate, or I just sit there, I'm still averaging probably 25 an hour. All right guys, look at this. We got paid $120 for that order. In order for us to get back to Costco, it's gonna take us 37 minutes. But I will say I am really close to my house, so it was tempting to call it a day and just cut it short. But I think I'm gonna go back to Costco and risk it and hope for another big batch over this direction and then call it quits. All right guys, so we're back at Costco. That order actually went up a little bit as well. We're at 125 and 54 cents right now. And we got back here at 1240. Basically we worked like two and a half hours. So if we divide 125 by two and a half, we're at $50 an hour right now, as long as we can get another batch pretty soon and not wait here all day. It is a Wednesday, so it's gonna be expected to wait here for a little. Right now the only order I see is this double store order for 13 miles. That doesn't look too good. But now we need to focus on why Instacart is the best gig job. I've already touched on this a little bit, but I think the biggest reason why I like Instacart is just because I can do Costco orders where I can sit for an hour every day waiting for orders and still make good money by just getting a big order. I might sit for an hour and then the next hour get a $50 order. And then it kind of fixes the problem of you sitting for so long because you got paid $50 in one hour and zero in the other. So it averages at 25. That happens to me all the time. 
there's just so much more downtime with Instacart, especially if you're doing Costco. You're not shopping for three people at once. At max, you're shopping two people at once. Another thing is if you guys compare this to DoorDash, you're definitely driving less miles. Obviously, this depends on your market, but for me, I'm usually way above a dollar per mile. And sometimes in my market, that's really hard to even hit with DoorDash. DoorDash, you're basically constantly working all day. There's always like a small order that you could take, I feel like. Whereas Instacart, you're kind of like sitting and chilling and it might take you 20 minutes to get another batch, but you're still making solid money. Instacart as a company has a lot of problems, just like any other company. They're not uh, perfect in any way. The only reason that I like Instacart so much is because in this market, the customers carry the pay 100%. My pay is majority tip. It's like two thirds tip and then like one third Instacart on a normal day. So that kind of just goes to show Instacart isn't paying big bucks for the order. It's mostly coming down to the customers. But the second biggest app for this called Shipped, you can't do Costco orders yet. So this is why I love Instacart because it's pretty relaxing. All you guys are doing is grocery shopping. A lot of your time working is actually actual work. You're in the store doing stuff. You're not just putting miles on your car all day because most of the job is spent in the grocery store. It is a pretty physical job and honestly I like that about this because it helps me burn calories throughout the day. I'm not just sitting in a car all day. I'm also doing heavy lifting, pushing carts around, walking around extremely fast and I just feel better doing that than sitting in my car doing DoorDash all day. There's also the part where you actually get to see people. Whenever you guys are doing Instacart you guys get to know people at your store. So the greeters and the cashiers are pretty friendly with you. It's kind of like having coworkers in a sense, especially if you guys know other Instacart shoppers in your area. DoorDash, you still see people whenever you're picking up orders and dropping them off, but I feel like you're just more exposed to people doing Instacart. I'm seeing an order. It was like $24 for 16 miles. I think I'll pass. Yikes. But yeah, Instacart is pretty good in my market. In your market, it may be trash. It may even be better because there's some people making a lot more money than me. So yeah, Instacart, everyone. All right, so story time. We've been sitting for about an hour, right? And I was getting thirsty. I had to use the bathroom, so I went inside Costco. I got some sparkling waters. On my way out, some old lady almost ran me over and then shrugged at me. Just like, what are you doing, kid? Like, why are you walking in a parking lot? Everyone should just be in cars only. So I shrug back at her and she unrolls her window and calls me an a-hole and then like just drives off, like speeds off through the parking lot. Just like someone's grandma out here just causing mayhem. Holy cow. I was like this close from actually getting ran over too. I guess she was just embarrassed that she almost killed someone today. Yeah, Costco parking lots guys. They're dangerous, be careful. All right, so we just ended up taking like a $25 order. It's 24 items and I think about six miles. We'll see whenever we get to like the delivery portion of this. But it uh, looks pretty basic, nothing extremely heavy. It's been funny, I've just been kind of parked up here chilling with security, which is new at this parking lot. But um, the part that's funny is when I almost got ran over and the old lady started cussing at me, he did absolutely nothing. I need to look into his job. Like, he's just been sitting there all day, just like me. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. And of course, there was a water. Apparently, I missed that when I was looking at the items. I swear I didn't see a water, but they have one. $151 basically. $110 of that is all customer tips. I've definitely have done better than what I've done today because I did sit for an hour. So if I got the 120 and I got like another order like right after that, we would be at like 200 easily already. But like I said, once you guys average everything down, it's still pretty good. I'm probably gonna be looking for like one or two more orders, hoping for another big one going back to where I live. That'd be pretty nice because then I could go home early and edit this video. All right, so we just filled up on gas. We spent about 30 bucks on gas. Which isn't too bad because I've been using my car for work for like two or three days now. Just now had to fill up. Probably spending like 10 bucks a day on gas right now and I am in a Civic. So I do get good gas mileage but overall for what I'm doing it's not bad at all. I did skip on a 45 total wine order. It was three people, 27 miles but it was $45. 
but the, the mile to pay ratio just wasn't there. And it was going away from where I need to go to get home. So I had to pass on that one, even though it probably would have gone me to 200. But we're gonna gamble a little and see if we can get something at Costco instead. All right, so we just took what is probably gonna be our last order. It basically, it's a really small order, so it's not paying very well, but it's going back towards where I need to go anyways to go home. So I'm gonna take this order and then be done for the day and probably end up right around like 170, 165. Which isn't too bad, but today was pretty slow. If we didn't get that 120 today, we would have not been as well off as we are. But uh, yeah, let's go finish this order and take a look at how we did today. All right, easy order. All right, got a 15 minute drive to their house and then we'll be like really close to my house after that too. Then we'll get to go talk about our day and then see how much money we made per hour, which is probably what you're here for anyways. All right guys, so we have made it home. We had quite the day, a lot of sitting and listening to podcasts, and yet we still made $166. This is why I love Instacart, guys. Like, I literally sat for probably three hours today and still made 160. And in those three hours, I just listened to podcasts and played on my phone. Like. It was pretty fun to be honest. I would have enjoyed making money more than what I was doing, but still like this being my job, like it's fun as heck. And yes, we say heck here because we like that little green monetization sign. So uh, yeah, we keep things clean. Anyways, let's uh, look at our income for the day. All right, so let's take a look at the first order real fast. This order was insane. So we got $125 from this and some change. And uh, the total tip amount was near $100 itself. Instacart paid us around $30 as well. So we came in right around $125. Both the customers tipped very generously, especially customer A, but customer B tipped a lot for how much they ordered. They didn't order that much and they still tipped $35. All right, so for this order, we sat for probably an hour before I got this. This was like a pretty easy order. This is like the bread and butter of Instacart, 25 bucks. You could do this in an hour. And if they had these all day, it would be perfect. But unfortunately today we're sitting around a lot. It was still like a $15 tip for a 10 minute delivery and we shopped it in 15. So like it didn't even take us an hour. We made 25 bucks, but we sat for a while before that and after. All right, so our next order was only $15.91, but it was going back towards where I live. I sat for two hours before I got this order, I think. And yes, this isn't a good order at all. It's almost like a dollar per mile. And for Instacart, usually you strive for better than just that. But we were heading that way anyways to go home. And I was waiting for an order just like this so I could just take it and drop it off on the way to my house. So we made basically another $16 there. So that brings us to a total of $166.76. Hang on, I gotta do some math here, to figure out our hourly wage. So Instacart says we only have worked three and a half hours. I was out there a lot more than that, but let's just see what our hourly rate would be for Instacart. All right, so we made 166.76. We're gonna divide that by basically the three and a half hours that Instacart says we worked which breaks it down to $47 per hour. It actually rounds up to 48 per hour, which is just, it's stupid. And yes, my camera is dying, so I'm in a frantic rush now, but if you guys wanna include the three hours I sat, this is gonna go down a lot, but it's still good. So let's just redo this with the actual hours that I was out sitting at Costco. So I was out for a total of seven hours, so we're gonna do that, and we averaged 24 an hour, and that includes literally sitting in my car for three hours doing nothing. I don't have anything else to say, but Instacart is kind of cool. And if you guys want to become an Instacart shopper, I have a link down below and you guys can become your very own shopper and hopefully make money like I am right now. Obviously every market is different, but where I live, it's pretty nice right now. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, slap that like button down below. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. You guys are making my dreams come true. I'm making money vlogging about my day. I really appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one.